this is going to eliminate the fact of you not trying in a couple days or a couple weeks when you make 10 appointments and only three of them show up, right? And maybe only one of them dies. Because if you keep pushing, the next week you're going to set maybe 10 appointments, but six of them will show and then maybe three of them will buy. So you can't base your results on one week, Tyler. All right? You can't base your results on setting your first three appointments and, and two of them canceled so far. You have to do this deal in, in a, in a month-long process of how many appointments did I set for the month, how many showed, and how many bought. So I'm going to give you an example with Emily. So Emily, do you know how many appointments you set for the month? 96. 96, okay. Do you happen to know how many of them showed? But you do know how many deals you got? I know how many deals. I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. How many, deals did you, how many deals did you end up with? 19. Okay. So, Tyler, are you paying attention here? No. So, all of these people didn't show up. A good portion of these 96 appointments, right? That's picking up the phone, dialing a number, creating <laughs> interest, getting them down to a specific date and time, them agreeing to the appointment, and then what happens is they don't show up, right? They no show. Ghost. Disappear. Cat fell off the roof. Tree fell on my house. Crazy wife. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Or um, don't don't call my husband back. Right, Casey. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> so all this stuff is gonna happen. You guys have to be prepared for it. All right. You have to expect that out of however many appointments you set, there's going to be people that are going to show up. They're going to disappear on you. Family They're emergency. Going to call family emergency. The, the reasons are, are endless, okay? You'll be hearing all these crazy types of excuses why these people can't show up. What you need to focus on, Tyler, is how many of these can I do, okay? How many of these can I set in a month? I want you to look at it in a month, okay? How many appointments can I set in a month when I come in here and get on the phone? All right? So 96 appointments, 19 deals, okay? So... Was that for this month? Yeah, that was for February. For February. Oh, okay, yeah. February. I'm February. sorry. Okay. I keep thinking. So you need to have the mindset of, hey, no matter what these people tell me when I come in that they can't come into their appointment, this happened and that happened. You have to come in here and focus on, hey, I'm gonna set four to six appointments today. All right. I'm gonna call the people that I supposed to have coming in, but then right after I'm done with that, I'm gonna call and I'm gonna get some more appointments because you have to look at this in a month long window and not just a, a, a daily or a weekly. Uh, results okay you have to break it up into a month and that's how you can kind of take bits and pieces right you maybe have a bad day here but then you come in you get six appointments and maybe the next day is not 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 the best but then you get you know somebody that you called 30 days ago you know calls you back and you set that appointment <clears throat> so you gotta you gotta be a little bit patient all right you can't expect that everything's gonna happen um, you know in a couple days or, or a week <clears throat> And so expect that these things are going to happen every day, all right? People are going to tell you no, and people aren't going to show up. <clears throat> when you expect those things to happen every day, what is that going to allow you to do? Can anyone give me a good answer? Stay positive. Stay positive, okay. Why is it important to stay positive, though? Keep your mind positive. Because <clears throat> if you're negative, you're going to do negative. Okay. So do you stay positive? Maybe your tone of voice, you become more positive. And then you may be able to take someone that's on the phone, Taylor, from grumpy to positive, or maybe just a little more positive. All right, you don't need to completely change your mindset, but you can just nudge them along, right? You, someone picks up the phone and they're grumpy, and you have a positive tone of voice and just take them from grumpy to, eh, today's okay. Just that little bit might allow you to explain to them 
what you got going on to get you that much closer to an appointment. It's the little things that you can collectively do to ensure that you're gonna get these people in the door, you're gonna get them to at least agree to come in, right? You just wanna get them to agree to come in so you can increase your chances of getting this right here, okay? This is what you really want right here, but you have to increase those to be able to get it. All right, so, does anybody know the follow-up schedule for when you set an appointment to when they show up? Does anybody them, know? Call them the day before. Call them the day before. So, if we, if today is Friday, okay? Or you could call them like hours ahead of the appointment, like three hours yeah. before they go into the dealership. Right? So, Tyler, I don't think I went over this for you, so. I don't know, did I? No, I don't think I did. No, I don't, I don't remember. No, no, we're going to go over this right now. Okay. Yeah. So you set an appointment on a Friday, and you set it for? It also depends how far ahead you set it before they come. Tuesday at 11 a.m. So, Emily, you got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, they agree to come in on Friday, but their appointment is not for the following Tuesday, okay? And just like what happened with Tyler, and the guy's calling them right in the voicemail, hey, you know, I'm not gonna be able to make it to my appointment. If you have any questions on that, give me a call back. That clearly means that, hey, you know, I don't really think I can trade. Or I did some research on my own, and I determined that I don't think this is gonna be a good idea for me to come in. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. Well, what I can say to that is saying, listen, you know, like we have to have it professionally appraised by one of our appraisers. You know, if it's numbers you're looking for, you can't just, you know, go online. That and, would be when you yeah. when you call this gentleman back. I wouldn't word it like that, but I would say like. But what happens from here to here? I'm gonna call this. Remember, we're not asking these people to buy a car when we speak to them over the phone. We're just asking them to come in. But some people know when they come in the dealership, they're going to want to leave with something new. You know what I mean? Because who really wants to go into a dealership and not benefit from it? I feel like that all the time when I get my oil change. Right. <laughs> no one really wants to go into a dealership and not leave with something. Okay? With all the bad horror stories of car dealerships and experiences, who really wants to do that? So you gotta keep that in mind. You know, yes, we're telling them, yeah, just come in, you don't have to buy if numbers don't make sense. But when that person does enter the dealership, some part in their mind is thinking, okay, how, how can I leave with one of these things? You know? Mm -hmm. They're they're plotting in their mind, I promise you that. So this is the thinking time here, Tyler, okay? Friday, we set the appointment, the following Tuesday they're coming in, they have all of this time to think about what, what could they do in this time period? Somebody give me uh, something that they could do. What do you mean, like, to cancel it or to... to... Something that they can do to determine that, hey, agree to come in, but then by Tuesday, not agree. What, what could happen in the time frame? Well, an emergency could have happened, maybe. Okay, yep. Or they just, um, they did their own research. Could have bought somewhere go. else. Oh. Ooh. Which does happen. That sucks. Yeah. Oof. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that really suck? So that, that's the worst feeling. That's so do you know what happens you. there? You call the person. You generate the interest. You get the urgency. Mm -hmm. You explain all the benefits of the dealership and why you should come in. And you did such a good job that they just went down the road instead of driving an extra 10 minutes and traded their 2015 Honda or Jeep or whatever it is. So that does happen. Okay? They could have came home back. from dinner, passed the dealership, like, oh, I got some yep. free time. Let me stop oh, yeah. in. That goes back to expecting, expecting the unexpected. The no-show. That's gonna happen, Tyler. Alright? I just I want you to come to terms with that right now. That this month, <laughs> you're gonna call someone. You're gonna do such a good job of building rapport and generating interest. They're gonna agree to come in and they're gonna go somewhere else. And they're gonna ghost me. 
And then they're probably going to ghost mm -hmm. you, and I'm going to go somewhere else and buy a car. I kind of want to, well, I mean, I'd be tempted to send them a text message saying, oh, I see how it is, sad face. You know, you but now I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you may be thinking that, you need to get that out of your mind. Okay? Sad face. <laughs> you need to get that out of your mind. You need to come to terms with that, that scenario, and you have to be okay with it. It looks like it's going to happen more than... It's going to happen yeah. more. It might happen half the time. Half the people that you said won't show up. Well, and based off of her statistics, how she had 96 appointments, but 20 of them showed so, up. Yeah. So anybody have a, a, a calculator on them? I my do. Math is, my math is pretty pretty off today. Since I'm really what's tired. that? Drink some coffee. What is it, 40 something? No. Wait, 50, what's... 48 something? What's going what? on? Half of 96. Half of 96. Yeah, come on, help me out here. 38. 48. 48. Okay, 48. I was close. 48. So out of those 96 appointments that Emily, sh that Emily set, Taylor, about 48 of them are going to say, hey, you know, I'm going to just disappear or I'm not going to answer your phone or I'm going to come up with a crazy excuse. Uh, I'm just not coming in. The other 48 should show. Okay, this is uh, averages here. So out of the 48 that show, now divide that 48 into 2, 24. Okay, so that should be roughly about 24 deals. What do you, how many do you have? 19. 19? Okay. You can I get one more? Or no? 19. 19. So <laughs> yeah. More gray areas. Okay. 19. All right. That's let's just say good. 20. Let's just, let's just say 20. Maybe there's a deal somewhere in there that we can find. Are these 20 people that showed up or deals? No, that's for, out of the 96 appointments that were set. Okay. 48 of them showed up. All right. About half the people that show up are going to buy. And it's really, you know, 96 set appointments and 19 deals, that's pretty close to that formula. And that's the formula that, that I stick by. So you can go by that formula and you can get some pretty good results by sticking to that formula. By half the appointments that you set will not show up, half of them will buy, okay? Those are real numbers. Oh yeah, yeah I know. Emily. I know. We, just, yeah. we just finished the report for, for February. All right? So, yeah, I was, I was, he's trying to give me a pound. <laughs> so there's a bunch of stuff that can happen in this time period, okay? Own research, okay? Bought somewhere else, emergency, anything else that can happen? They, Someone dies? Oh, God. That's happened? <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I didn't want to think that goes with an emergency. Yeah. Uh, we could just say genuinely not interested. Bad weather. I've had people cancel because of the weather. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. She was like, weather too bad. Interesting. <laughs> That's what she texted me ever since. All right, so there's a lot of things that could potentially happen, right, Taylor? Of when someone agrees to come in to the time of their appointment. So it's our job to stay in front of these people, either whether it's the, with a little text, maybe email, also a phone call. Hey, just want to remind you of your appointment Tuesday, 11 o'clock. Look forward to seeing you. You know, I wouldn't say, hey, do you still plan on making it in? Can you still make it in? You just want to go ahead and assume that we, none of this stuff happened. Hey, we're looking forward to seeing you on Tuesday, okay? And confirm your appointment. So how many times did we contact them in this time period? Who knows? Three. Three. Three times? Okay. Which... Where? Saturday, you call Monday? What, when? Monday. We said it Friday. Friday, Monday, and Tuesday. Yeah. We said it Friday. We said it yeah, Friday. I wouldn't bother them on the weekend. We said it Friday. So when's the next time we call? Monday. 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 Okay, we call them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then when's the next time? Tuesday. I text and call. Yeah, if they don't answer, I just call them and text. Okay, no answer. I do texting and calling every time. What about email? You do that too? Sometimes. Yeah, I mean, if there's no phone, I mean, there are deals that are done with e by email only. And then when they come in the dealership, they give them the phone number. So it does happen. I see it. So it's possible. So w Tuesday morning, we would call them, right? Or text them. Do both or just one? Do we know? I do both. Do both. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I do both. Sometimes I do one of them. Yeah, I mean, you, you, can, just you can, on the person. If you can get them to opt in on the text here, I always immediately try to do that too. Like if this they is want this to. is how you know Casey get a lot of people in the door. Yeah, is opt in on the text and then be texting them maybe throughout the weekend. If you can build such a good relationship with them where you can have a 
a little conversation over the weekend through text, do you think your chances are going to increase or decrease with that person coming in Tuesday? Increase. 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 If you can have like a small conversation over the weekend and get them to reply to you maybe two or three times, could be about whatever it is, your chances are going to increase on that appointment. So what would you text them on the weekend if 